Hey everyone, this is Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. In this video, I will show you how to set up IK Multimedia's Advanced Room Correction plugin so that when you go to render and you accidentally leave it on, that doesn't affect your mix. IK has decided to not put in an offline render option for their advanced room correction plugin, which is a shame, but I understand where they're coming from because there's some DAWs that don't communicate correctly with plugins and it leaves the software developers open to criticism. So the workaround in Reaper at least is to set up routing so that this doesn't happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click in this area right here to open up a bunch of new tracks. You can also hit control T, but I like to just double click. It's quicker sometimes. So the next step is we're going to insert a piece of music just for demonstration purposes. Normally all these tracks would be vocals, bass guitar, snare, synth, whatever, you know, your typical mix setup. So, and it, obviously there would be more than, what, five tracks or whatever, six tracks. So first I'm going to insert a mixed piece of music. And normally the first thing you would do is hit on, hit the FX button and then add advanced room correction, which is right here. And I literally just got this plugin yesterday, version two. So I'm using my old setup, which by the way, I didn't even do properly. I'm uh, recording this video at studio a, and I totally messed up the way this is supposed to be, but it's good for this video because it lets you hear the difference ARC makes to a uh, mix and if you accidentally leave it on what can happen. So this is typically how you would set up ARC. You would put it on your master channel and then you would make sure that it's the last plugin in the chain. However, if you forget to turn it off before you do a render, you're screwed. And some of the mixes I've done have taken 10, 20 minutes to render down depending on the amount of tracks. To open the file up after a 20 minute render and realize you forgot to take this plugin off sucks. It really, really sucks. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this off. I don't want that on there. So the second thing I'm gonna do is click this IO button right here, the input output, and I'm going to delete my sound card off here. All right, now I'm going to close that window and go up to uh, this track. This is the second to the last track, and I'm going to name it mm, Faux Master. Or you can name it Master or Master Substitute. And then we're going to call this Monitoring. So for the monitoring channel, I'm going to hit FX and add ARC. Now you can use version one. It doesn't matter as long as this is the last plugin in the channel. And actually, this is the only thing I would keep on this track. And you'll, you'll understand why in a second. So I'll close that out and go up to input output on track one. And the first thing I want to do is uncheck the master parent send box. Because what that does is it routes this channel to come out to the master. As you'll see in a second right here. Now you're probably not hearing anything because, again, I disabled the sound card output. That's a good thing. But you'll you see how there's signal going to the master channel? Now when I change this and uncheck master's parent send, no signal will go to that channel. So now that that's done, I'm going to close that out and do the same thing for every single one of these tracks. 
except for the master substitute and monitoring channel. On the master substitute, I want that going to the main channel. That's my goal. So now that this is open, again, let me, I'll, I'll just close that. I'll just close this out so you can see what I did. Master substitute channel, hit the IO button, which is also known as the send receives and hardware output options. And what I'm gonna do now is every single track that we just disabled to go to the master is now gonna route be is now going to be routed to this. So I'm gonna click this receive button and click that. Number two, number three, number four. So every track besides master substitute and monitoring is going to be set up on this input output. After I've done that, I'll close it out and I'm going to open up my monitoring input output and change this so that the master parent send is disabled. And then I'm going to set my receive up from the master substitute channel. And my audio output is going to go to my left right output. And that's it. When I play this back, you should hear a uh, a messed up track compared to the one we... Uh, actually, I'm going to disable this for a second. And let's see what it does. Okay, and I'm going to re-enable the FX on the monitor. See, that alters the quality of the track. That's what ARC does, is it, it adjusts for the non-flat response of your room and your speakers and it does a few other things as well but uh the most obvious thing is the eq is changed and that's something that we don't want to happen when we're mixing down so now that that is the case i'm going to um render this and i'm going to leave everything on just to show you that this works so, file render, and I'll call this ARC regular render. Now, the other thing I'll do is disable this just to show you that the tracks will cancel out. So again, let me play this back. Infinite, dynamic, we may and I'm going to hit render again. And just naming that to ARC off just so that we know what it's labeled as for this next step. Now that that's rendered, I'm going to open up a new project to try a null test. Okay, our new project's open. Everything is reset to how it normally is. You know, this master channel is going out to my regular sound card outputs. And now I'm going to insert my tracks that I just rendered, which are right here. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all and then hit open. And it'll ask me, do you want to import on separate tracks yes and then i'll move these to the beginning just for the heck of it now for a null test you change the polarity or the phase on one of the channels so i just did that and i'm going to hit play and this should work if it doesn't i'm going to feel like an idiot and there you go a completely nulled you can't hear anything that means these tracks are equal. Now I'm going to uh, stop playing and then uh, mute this track and then hit play. We manufacture that fire, you heard? Woo! So there you go. The tracks sound great. You bypassed ARC because it was set up just for monitoring. And life is good. You no longer have to remember to take that off every single time you render a new mix down. You just have to take that extra step of adding those tracks, which by the way, 
here's a simple way so you don't always have to go back and do that routing over and over and over again. I'm going to open up the previous project right now. All right, so here's the old project. And the way we do this is we go up to, and let me delete this. Now, what I could do is label all these tracks, vocals, uh, guitar, bass, whatever. You know, these will all be labeled a certain way. And you can go up to, you can do one of two things. You can go to File, Project Templates, and then Save Project as Template. Or the other thing is, um, and I haven't really done this in a while, but I think you have to select the track, or just, it doesn't matter, you can just cl click anything, and go to Track, Save Tracks as Track Template, and then we're going to save this as ARC Monitoring. Because I want to see what happens when I do that. So now that that's saved, I'm going to delete these tracks. I'm going to redo this as well and see if this works. Because if it doesn't, then the only thing you can do is project template. So I'm going to go up to track. Insert track from template. ARC monitoring. And that did not do what I wanted to do. So okay, the only way to do this then, I'm going to hit undo. Make sure that this is set up right. Yep, it is. And I'm going to go to my project templates and say project as template. And then call this ARC monitoring. I like to leave my mistakes in videos because you're going to make mistakes. And I'm going to make mistakes. I, I knew how to set up the routing, but I didn't do that last step. And it's all about figuring things out. You got to learn how to do that. You know, I can only hold your hand for so long. You know, when I was learning, I learned from a few mix engineers watching videos. Uh, I, I learned through reading a lot of books, a lot of internet forums, a lot of magazines, and you still make mistakes or you don't understand a program. You just got to try things out. And that's really, um, you know, like they say, you can teach a man, you can hand a man a fish and he'll eat for one day, or you can teach a man how to fish and he'll be able to eat forever. So um, let's see if that worked. It should have. So project templates, ARC monitoring. Uh, do you want to save current project? No. So that's opened up now and it looks like everything is set up properly. I'm just going to double check and it looks, yeah, everything's good. So there you go. Now what I would do is obviously, um, set up more tracks than just four tracks and then the two, uh, master and monitoring, but that's it. Oh, by the way, don't put anything on this track. On the, on the actual master channel, don't put anything on there because you can't hear it. You have to put everything. This is your new master channel. So everything goes on this. You're still able to hear it. You can hear these files as well because it's all being routed through this channel. But if you put something on here, you're not going to be able to hear it at all. So that's just one thing you have to remember but it's better than having to remember every single time to take ARC off your track. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com. See you in the next video.